Hey Lashy Kids and Driving Mutants, I'm Lady Shasha, Mistress of the Snark. This Sci-Fi Saturday, let's get into Space is the Place. This is a sci-fi movie that should be more well known. I had already been planning to review this, but after all the crying about the wokeness of Candyman, Stop the blood clot crying. I really, really wanted to talk about this movie because some of you have no idea what real woke is. On this channel, in this movie, Sun Ra is a space-age prophet, pharaonic, shaman philosopher, and avant-garde jazz keyboardist slash band leader who disappeared years earlier and then suddenly returns in a spaceship to Oakland, California. He plans to transport black people into space through teleportation through music. Find a very sound of guns, anger, frustration. There was no one to talk to from Planet Earth, if you understand. We set up a colony of black people here. We'll bring them here through either isotope teleportation, transmolecularization, or better still, teleport the whole planet here through music. With the Black Power Movement on the rise, Sun Ra proclaims himself the Altered Destiny. He holds a myth versus reality rap session with black inner city youth at a rec center offering them an opportunity to go to outer space with him. He duels at cards with the Overseer, a satanic overlord with the fate of the black race at stake. Sun Ra wins the right to a world concert, which features performance footage of the orchestra. Agents sent by the Overseer attempt to assassinate Sun Ra, but he vanishes, rescues his people, and departs in his spaceship from the exploding planet Earth. This movie has so much going on. Afrofuturism, the effects of frequencies and vibration on human behavior, ancient alien theory, super art house style filmmaking, and avant-garde jazz music. Lovecraft Country touched gently on Afrofuturism with the side plot about Hippolyta traveling through space and time. There was a nod to this specific movie within that episode. I must admit that I am not a fan of avant-garde jazz music. That seems to be a very acquired taste, but I very much like the costumes being designed after comedic spiritual figures. That was pretty cool. On to the effects of frequencies and vibrations on human behavior. You know how certain music can make you feel relaxed, happy, or energetic? Certain music can also make you feel anxious, agitated, or even violent. If you've ever listened to binaural beats to cure a headache, then you've experienced the influence of frequencies. We could talk about how some music industries have been taken over to purposely create low vibrational music just to help feed the prison industrial complex, a steady stream of bodies through modern legalized slavery. But I'll leave that to the experts. There are other channels that talk about that in much more depth and more informatively than I. So I'll leave that to the scholars because this channel is about enjoying horror, sci-fi, and thriller movies. By the way, kids, don't just listen to anyone that has a camera pointing at their face when they talk about these things. Vet these people. Check their credentials. Check their educational level. There's some really great content being made by very knowledgeable, studied people, and then there's some content being made by people talking straight out of their ass. Try to suss out the difference. Anyways, let's talk about the fun elements of this classic 1970 sci-fi movie, like this wino's shoes, or how moisturized and glistening this dude's afro is. This movie's like a time capsule of what 1974 must have been like, and there are some really funny moments. The employment office scene is iconic and it's one of the highlights of the movie. I could learn your methods. Multiplicity adjustment, readjustment, synthesis, isotope, teleportation, transmolecularization, frequency polarization, intergalactic realm of eternal darkness, intergalactic realm of eternal black darkness, white darkness, infinity incorporated. This movie is only 81 minutes long and I think it made its point in those 81 minutes. It's one of those things that if you get it, you get it. Obviously, this movie is not for everyone. It's not exactly action packed. I do recommend this to you if you're into things like The Man Who Fell to Earth, A Clockwork Orange, The Brother from Another Planet, Under the Skin, Fantastic Planet, or anything Alejandro Jodorowsky ever did. At the time of this recording, Space is a Place was available to watch on YouTube. There is a Sunrod documentary available on YouTube as well. But like I always say, don't take my word for it. Watch it for yourself. Just because I love something doesn't mean you won't hate it. And just because I hate something doesn't mean you won't love it. Have you seen Space is the Place? Would you like to see more Afrofuturism in sci-fi like I do? Let me know in the comments. Until next time. You mean to 
tell me a smart little brother like you believes in that shit? I mean, here comes this dude from outer space, wearing clothes you never seen before, laying down a rap you never heard, I mean, that you can't even relate to. Come on, you're smarter than that. But he hasn't yet betrayed his black brethren to the exploitative, racially and culturally co-opted Caucasian power structure. Right on, Bubbles, you got it. Hey, did you know that I work for tips now? You could hit me up on Venmo or Cash App. Well, I'm happy to receive the type of coin that jingles. I'd love to receive the type that folds. Somebody show these people where the subscribe button is. They don't know what they're doing.